Welcome to Ling TV, your local internet news station online from Paphos. I'm Lucy Robson with the main stories today. Winter holiday bookings in Paphos and the rest of Cyprus are not affected by the global economic crisis. The words of the Cyprus Tourism Organization Council in a forecast on winter tourism. Meanwhile, the CTO says that the Russian market needs to be opened up. New concerns about unruly youths in Chlorica have arisen after 30,000 euros worth of damage was caused to local board vehicles. Chlorica Community Board believes that local gangs were responsible for the damage. Homeowners who heat their houses with oil can look forward to some relief this winter with the Finance Ministry announcing an 80% cut on the fuels tax. The cut will come into effect on November 1st. Diners enjoyed an evening of musical nostalgia last night as 60s singing star Jess Conrad performed at Chillington's restaurant in Paphos. The restaurant is turning from music to comedy next month as British comedian Stan Boardman brings his act to local fans. Police News Now, a Chloraca schoolgirl has been transferred to Nicosia General Hospital following an incident in the playground of the school she attends. The 11-year-old suffered head injuries after a fall. Further details of her condition have not yet been released. Finally, this weekend, the annual Radio Marathon Drive starts with events raising cash for children and adults with special needs. Collections will take place at major traffic light intersections in Paphos. Last year, more than €2 million Euros was raised island-wide for the cause. That's all the news for today. Visit our Cyprus Video News section over the weekend for a roundup of this week's main national stories and updates. From all of us here at Lynn TV, have a very pleasant weekend.